president took direct aim at you in his remarks in the Rose Garden. I want our viewers to watch. Listen to this. As soon as April, the vaccine will be available to the entire general population, with the exception of places like New York State, where, for political reasons, the governor uh, decided to say, and I don't think it's good politically, I think it's very bad from a health standpoint, but uh, he wants to take his time with the vaccine. He doesn't trust where the vaccine's coming from. As soon as April, the vaccine will be available to the entire... So how do you respond to that? Uh, a personal attack going against you, threatening the people of New York State uh, they might not be able to get the vaccine because of comments you've made. Just announced New York State will be the only state in the country that will not get a coronavirus vaccine when it becomes available in April. And tonight, Governor Cuomo is firing back. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is standing by with details tonight, Dick. Well, Dana, we can tell you, we, uh, the president spoke at a press conference on Operation Warp Speed and vaccine distribution, but then suddenly said that New York will not get its vaccine unless the governor approves it. Governor Cuomo had said he won't take the Trump administration's word for it that the vaccine is safe, so he appointed his own panel to approve it. He says he has faith in drug companies, but not the administration. It appears that the president took exception to that and seems to want to start another feud with the governor. Who want to be able to say to the people of this state, trust the vaccine? I do want to be able to say, I know you have doubts about Trump and about Trump's politicalization of the health process, but we had a separate panel with headed by a Nobel Prize laureate. going out the door. They're all ready, waiting for that final approval. As soon as April, the vaccine will be available to the entire general population, with the exception of places like New York State, where, for political reasons, the governor uh, decided to say, and I don't think it's good politically, I think it's very bad from a health standpoint, but uh, he wants to take his time with the vaccine. He doesn't trust where the vaccine's coming from. These are coming from the greatest companies anywhere in the world, greatest labs in the world, but he doesn't trust the fact that it's this White House, this administration, so we won't be delivering it to New York until we have authorization to do so, and that pains me to say that this is a very successful, amazing vaccine at 90 percent and more, but uh, so the governor, Governor Cuomo, will have to let us know when he's ready for it, otherwise we, we, can't, we can't be delivering it to a state that won't be giving it to its people immediately. And I know many, I know the people of New York very well, I know they want it. So the governor will let us know when he's ready. He's had some very bad uh, editorials recently about this, this statement and what's happened with respect to nursing homes and his handling of nursing homes. And I hope he doesn't handle this as badly as he's handled the nursing homes. But we're ready to provide it as soon as they let us know that they'll actually use it and again, it's a very safe and, and a great vaccine. Already we have among the lowest case fatality rates in our country anywhere in the world, the entire world. So, you see the clip. Let me explain it. Let's just break it down and uh, do some critical thinking here. Now, you have Governor Cuomo and Wolf Blitzer, CNN News, right? As you see, it says Trump attacks New York governor over vaccine distribution plans. Now, See, that's where context matters. That's where they're, they're taking context and uh, completely, completely taking it, taking the real context and turning it into 
lies. That that that's uh that's how you can take context and spin it any way you want to. And uh you, you know, you see the negativity there. Uh Trump attacks New York governor over vaccine distribution plans. Wow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also play you what the president actually said, which they played it there, but uh, I'm going to show you what the president actually said, and then I'm going to show you what Governor Cuomo said, his own words, and Governor Cuomo clearly stated that what President Trump said was a lie. He never so basically, if he says that that's a lie, he's saying that he never said that. That uh, he never said that uh, they're going to not accept the vaccine because of President Trump, him not trusting President Trump. Now, clearly what we have here is the media line and him lying okay um and this is all political and the thing about it is governor cuomo came out and made that statement before the president even had this press conference the only reason the president brought it up is because governor cuomo had said that and you'll see when the president speaks he's actually he actually made reference to that but they're trying to spin it in such a way to have you believe or have the public believe that President Trump is just attacking or oh, attacking poor Governor Cuomo for no reason. You see, you see how they're spinning this whole thing? Governor Cuomo did say that. He did say that. He was on another interview and he did say that. And I'm also going to show you how when this whole COVID thing came out, Governor Cuomo was on TV singing the praises of the administra Trump administration. Oh, President Trump is a great guy. He worked with us and he, oh, he was just singing his praises. Now all of a sudden, President Trump's public enemy number one. You see how the media and the left is how they lie, just like they try to spin that lie about when COVID-19 first started, how all the media outlets were saying COVID-19, oh, it's no big deal, and President Trump is a racist homophobe, and attacking him, saying that, oh, you know, you shouldn't close down, uh, you shouldn't do a travel ban, and all this, that, and the third. And then what happens? They switch their narrative. They switched the narrative. Now, then they turn around and uh, got people believing that oh he didn't do enough and 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 you know the thing is the thing that gets me what I don't understand is how people how some people are that slow. Like I know these people watch CNN religiously because. They have CNN and MSNBC talking points. It's funny how people get amnesia. How they don't remember the media doing all that. And then, then all of a sudden, oh, Trump's not doing enough. No matter what this president does, it's never going to be good enough. No matter what he says, they're going to push narratives and they're going to twist his words as best they can. And even when they played uh, his... Uh, uh, what he said at the press conference they didn't play the whole thing so that's what that's what CNN does they don't play the whole thing they they play just enough so they can skew the context they they can skew the whole thing and spin it to their advantage to continually make people think that this man this this president is a terrible guy and oh he's just he's just uh this mean old guy, this mean old racist bully, and uh, 
continue that false narrative stuff, man. It's just, it's, it's unreal. Purpose of me doing this video is just to prove the point. Show where the lies are. All right, let's continue. Next, we'll have the president's speech uh, at the press conference, and you can see what he said for yourself. Governor Cuomo had said he won't take the Trump administration's word for it that the vaccine is safe, so he appointed his own panel to approve it. He says he has faith in drug companies, but not the administration. Yeah, well, first of all, luckily he won't be here, right? Uh, but look, uh, what the president says is just untrue. Uh, but look, uh, what the president says is just untrue. Uh, but look, uh, what the president says is just untrue. With the exception of places like New York State, where, for political reasons, the governor uh, decided to say, and I don't think it's good politically, I think it's very bad from a health standpoint, but uh, he wants to take his time with the vaccine. He doesn't trust where the vaccine's coming from. These are coming from the greatest uh, companies anywhere in the world, greatest labs in the world. But he doesn't trust the fact that it's this White House, this administration. So we won't be delivering it to New York until we have authorization to do so. And that pains me to say that this is a very successful, amazing vaccine at 90 percent and more. But uh, so the governor, Governor Cuomo, will have to let us know when he's ready for it. Otherwise, we, we can't we can't be delivering it to a state that won't be giving it to its people immediately. And I know many, I know the people of New York very well. I know they want it. So the governor will let us know when he's ready. He's had some very bad uh, editorials recently about this, this statement and what's happened with respect to nursing homes and his handling of. So there you have it. Uh, you, you see, uh, I'll try to show you where the governor is clearly lying. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to figure out which one is it, Governor Cuomo. Did you or did you not say it? You you get on MSN, you get on uh, CNN, and pretty much say that you didn't say it. And then we have another news report where you're talking about uh, you don't trust the Trump administration, but you said you didn't say that. And uh, thing thing about it, CNN is good for. Uh, like I said earlier, taking the president's words and taking them out of context, only playing a little bit of what they want you to see. I mean, I could technically, I could do the same thing. I have video editing software and stuff. I, I could do the same thing, but um, I don't have to. I'm just showing you guys what it is. I mean, you can see for yourself. And hopefully I've proven my point um, if not I don't know what to tell you um, keep doing what you do but uh, it, it's just clearly ridiculous that these people can't be trusted um, and I'll say it again these news media outlets are bought and paid for money talks and bullshit walks but apparently they're making it where bullshit walks as well too because people just believe bullshit um i don't know hopefully this video may do some good maybe wake somebody up maybe i don't know give people a reason to think use some critical thinking i mean it's not hard to see when they're that they're lying i mean all you have to do is compare what the president says to what they say he said that's simple, and I've done that. I've shown y'all what it is. But anyway, this won't be the last video. It's the first of this kind. It won't be the last one. So I'm going to go, and you be the judge. You decide what do you think. Um, as always, I'm the conservative wolf. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Love you. And you are a victor. Never a victim.